In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for Rb plus, the rubidium ion. So before we do that, let's draw the Lewis structure for just Rb as it's found on the periodic table. So if we were to draw the Bohr diagram for Rb as it's found on the periodic table, it looks something like this. So each of these shells, that's an energy level, and we can see in this last energy level, there's only one valence electron. So if we're to draw the Lewis structure for just Rb, we would only put one valence electron next to the Rb. And that would be the Lewis structure for Rb. It has one valence electron. And like other elements in group one, they also all have one valence electron in their outer shell. But we're interested in Rb+. Plus. So let's get rid of this electron here, and let's take this electron out of our Bohr diagram, and that leaves this shell here empty. And therefore, we don't have any valence electrons around Rb when we draw the Lewis structure. We should put brackets around it, though, to show that it's an ion. And there you have it, the Lewis structure for Rb+. Note that while we've lost the electron in the outer shell in our Lewis structure, it doesn't have any electrons. There still are electrons around that nucleus there, all of these shells here. In fact, the new outer shell is full. It has eight valence electrons. But by convention, we don't write that in our Lewis structure. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for RB+, and thanks for watching.